In this video, we're going over tips and tricks on the Fitbit Versa. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the new tech that's coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap on the little bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. We're going to keep it short and simple today and we're just going to go over some cool tips and tricks on the Fitbit Versa slash Fitbit Versa Lite. The first one is we want to show you how to rearrange the apps in your app screen. So obviously this is the main screen, the clock face, and swiping to the left will take you to all the different apps that come pre-installed as well as any apps that you download. Now you can rearrange these and you can actually move these apps to be closer so that when you are on the clock face, you can swipe left and be at certain apps. So to do that, it's really easy. Let's find an app that we wanna move. So let's say I wanna move my timers app here. I'm just gonna hold down on the little icon for about one second. And you're gonna feel a little uh, vibration on the watch. And now the screen is gonna shrink and I can drag it to the left here. And I can basically put it right there. So now when I swipe over, I have my handy timers app right there. So, so it's that easy to move an app. I can also take an app here and say, oh, I don't use this exercise app. I wanna move this away. Same thing, just put your finger on it and just hold down. You're gonna feel it vibrate and then you can drag it to the screen you want it to be on just that easy. So that's how you move around apps on the main screen here. The next tip we're going to show you is how to download apps. So if you haven't figured it out already, uh, downloading apps does happen via the Fitbit app. So you will need to go on the Fitbit app and we'll show you how to do that right now. So here we are, we're on the Fitbit app. You do want to make sure you are connected, which is on most phones, make sure your GPS is turned on and your Bluetooth is turned on. Uh, open up your Fitbit app, and in the upper left corner, you're gonna tap on the little profile icon that usually is a picture of you. It'll take you to your account screen. And then from here, we're just gonna go down to devices and tap on Fitbit Versa right here. And let me just make sure it's clear so you guys can all see it. So here we have our apps. You're gonna tap on apps. And you've got two tabs here. You have my apps and you have all apps. So my apps will show you anything that you've already downloaded from the app store. And it'll also show you if certain apps need updates. So I have a couple that need updates. So I need to just tap there to update them. And if I swipe to the left, or actually I won't let you swipe. So you're gonna tap on all apps right here. This is basically the Fitbit app store where you can see all of the apps that are available to download. And the upper right corner, there's a little magnifying glass where you can do a search for a specific app maybe you're trying to find. Um, so some will look through the categories and some will just do a direct search. I like to just get right to the search if there's something I know I'm looking for. So upper right corner, let's tap on that. I'm gonna type in H-I-I-T. I always like to find HIT uh, apps for working out. And so here are two, Fit Hit and Fit B Hit. So I can tap on one of these. It's gonna show you pictures of what the app will look like on your Fitbit. And if you like it, you can tap install right here and that will download the app. And then when you go back to your Fitbit, you'll just swipe over and you'll see the app will show up on one of these screens here. So. It's that easy to download an app. Now, just uh, a disclaimer, you may see this little notice here that says this item may require a payment. And usually this means that uh, the app may not be free. Usually apps will be anywhere from a dollar to you know, a couple of dollars depending on what it is. So if you do see this uh, little disclaimer, it might mean that it's not a free app. So it will let you download it and it will pop up on the Fitbit, but once you try to open it, that's when it'll say you, you will need to pay before you can use it. So just FYI for that. We'll move on to our next tip here. We're just gonna hit the back arrow um, and go back. 
until we get back to this screen. So we went over how to download apps and now we're gonna go over how to download clock faces. So in case you wanna change the look and maybe you want a different setup on the front screen, you do that in clock faces. So tap on here. And under my Versa, you'll see what the current watch face is. And if we tap on all clocks, we can see all the different new designs that are available. And there are a ton, and this is one of the things I love about the Versa is that they've got so many new uh, clock faces and they're constantly updating them. So it just helps you kind of keep it fresh and new if you don't always want to have the same clock face all the time. Let's say you wanted to download this one right here. So when you tap on it, it will show you the different uh, options that are available. So the different color options. Now notice this one doesn't have that little disclaimer at the bottom that says payment might be required. So that's how you know this is a 100% complete free clock face. And downloading it will be very easy. I would just hit select and then hit install and it will start downloading just like that. Now I'm gonna show you another one just so you can have a comparison. So this is one that I have on my Fitbit currently. Now you notice it has the disclaimer. This item may require payment, which is solely managed by the developer. So basically because we see this, we know that this is not a free uh, clock face and it will require you to pay for it. All right, so now that we've gone over that, we're gonna hit that back arrow and just back out of our clock, uh, clock face store. And now we're gonna to jump to our next tip, which is gonna be how to turn on and off the notifications. You might find yourself in a meeting or a place where you don't want your Fitbit constantly vibrating as you keep getting notifications. So what you're gonna do is basically hold down on the power button here for one second. So just hold it. And it will take you to this menu. And what you're gonna do is under notifications, just tap and you'll see a little slash go over the icon. And what that'll do is it'll turn off your notification. So um, even if a notification happens on your phone, your Fitbit won't vibrate. And that will just again, help to cut down distraction in the event that you don't want notifications coming through. If you wanna turn it back on really easy, hold down that button again and just tap it again and it's all done. Notifications are now back on. All right, and our last little tip is we're gonna show you how to customize the different notifications that come through your Fitbit. So once again, go to the upper left corner, tap on your profile icon here, and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom. Actually, no, not the bottom. Yes, tap on notifications. And what you're gonna see are all the different notifications that are currently set. So there's two set notifications. There's just general notifications and then there are app notifications. So I'm gonna show you both. Now basically out of the box, everything comes turned on. So different things like when your battery's low, you hit your step goal, new badges, friend requests. Anything that comes through the Fitbit app or Fitbit community with in terms of friends and competitions, you're gonna get pop-ups for all of this. Now, you also have email notifications that are turned on as well. So you may have seen you get an email when it says your battery is low on the Fitbit or same thing, new badges, firm requests, weekly summaries, all that. If you don't like those, you can easily turn them off in this section. Just go in and sort of select which things you do want to be emailed about and what you don't want to be emailed about. So there's that. Now, if we go back up, tap on your Versa light, and now under general, go to these notifications and these specifically have to do with um, uh, things that are connected with your phone and your apps. So text messages here, you can actually assign what you want to be the main uh, messaging um, app that is, is linked to your Fitbit. So for example, on this phone, I use a few different messengers but I have it linked to the Google Messenger, so you just select that in there. Maybe you say, I don't wanna get text messages. You can just simply turn it off right here and then you won't be alerted at all if you ever get a text message. Calendar events here, emails, and then right here, app notifications. So this, you can be very specific about what apps you want to be able to communicate with you 
uh, through your Fitbit. Obviously, we have tons of apps on our phones these days, so you don't want to be alerted for every single app because that would just constantly have your wrist vibrating. So what I like to do is go through and find the apps that I know I use a lot. I might have a stock app that I want to be alerted on. I may have um, maybe a work messenger. I use GroupMe for work a lot, so I might have that one checked. Hangouts I use to communicate with certain messages, so I might turn that one on. So let me check that one actually. Uh, what else? Instagram, you may want that enabled, but then if you post a picture, it'll vibrate every time someone likes it. So you may or may not want that. So you can go through here and just get very specific about what things you want to be alerted about. Uh, definitely take your time through here because if you had everything checked, your wrist would just constantly go off and it'd be very annoying. So I would say make sure you have only the things that are important to you going off uh, and sending you alerts to your Fitbit. The last thing I want to show you, and this is one of my favorite features, is the quick reply. So if someone does send you a text message, um, you can actually set up quick replies. So for a calendar invite, email, uh, you know, the different messenger apps, let's say I tap on these messages, I can go in and I can program my own responses. So these are the generic ones that are programmed out of the box. So yes, no, sounds good, can't talk, we'll reply later, what's up? But maybe you say, oh, well, I wanna make these something different. So instead of, um, instead of sounds good, I might change this to okay. Or instead of can't talk now, I might say um, in a meeting, in a meeting, what's up? Or what's up is down there. So you can, you know, customize it based on how you talk. So obviously set that up, you know, based on what works for you. And then under emojis, you can select specific emojis to be your um, quick reply as well. So I don't really use this emoji too often. I might use the laughing emoji, which is actually already there. So maybe I'll take that one and I might make it the mad face. And instead of the crying emoji, I might make it the muscle or the thumbs up. I tend to use that one a lot. This is the muscle here and I don't use this one either. So I would change that to like a thumbs up or something. There we go. So really cool, customize it so that if you're in a meeting or you're in class or somewhere where you someone calls you and you can't respond, you can just simply hit an auto reply and you could send a laugh or you can send a yes, no, okay, whatever. And again, it just makes your Fitbit work a little bit better for you, so. Anyway, this has been the Fitbit Versa tips and tricks. So I hope you guys did find this video helpful. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what tip was the most helpful for you. We always love to hear your feedback. Um, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button as well. And if there's any more videos you'd like to see on the Fitbit Versa, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and we will try to get to it. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.